In this video, I will show you how to transition from LCS Advanced or Basic to LCS V2 using templates for G3 controllers. We'll be using a PC running Windows 10 and LCS Advanced version 1.1.0.21 and LCS V2 version 2.0.22.2. Before installation, always be sure to read the software installation documentation that came with the purchase of your software. For this video, we already have LCS Advanced and LCS V2 installed. If you need assistance with installing those software packages, please refer to our video FAQ on installation of those software packages. The first thing you need to do is open up our existing LCS Advanced software, locate the controller that we want to transition to the new software package, making sure that we have the latest configuration. So if you need to, you should go on line with the controller and do a retrieve to make sure that you have a sync and retrieve to do, make sure you have the latest configuration. Once you know you have the latest configuration stored on your software, right click on the controller and go to export options and device template. You should then begin to name your device template a unique name so that you can pick it out. Once you've done that, say OK. Now we want to go into our new software package, LCS V2, and in the home screen, we're going to go to Tools and Templates, Template, and go to Import. We're going to go to Browse to look for the saved template location. Now for LCS Advanced, the default location is under Program Files under Hard Drive. Program Files, Square D Lighting Control, LCS, Advanced, and then whatever particular system that you have uh, created inside that system, you'll see Templates, and you can find that folder location. For this instance, uh, it has been moved to the desktop, so just wherever your LCS folder is saved to, and you can find that Save Path Location in your LCS software under tools and administrative options. So you can see this is a save path for that file that I just saved in LCS Advanced. So after you have located that save path in LCS V2, open up the system and the templates folder and locate the file that you've just exported. Now it's going to have the different names so you can export both of them and it will give you the file name in the software but you know uh, at what time you save that location you can click on the file with that time and say open it's going to give you the name that comes up in the firmware file or in the configuration file so it makes more sense you can change that and it gives you the model of controller that it came from and you're going to say save You'll create another line. Each line represents a model of the controller, so you can do this for all G3 controllers. And now it will have that file location in the new LCS V2. So it does all the conversion for you. And then you can go back to the Home tab, and if you wanted to write that to a new controller, you can put that IP address in to here. We're just going to take an example here. Say connect. It says that's a correct model controller that I have. So I say open. Uh, we can do an import now that we have the configuration file in LCS v2. Import same file location that we just located and it's showing up there now that we've located it in the tools and we say import and one step that you will need to do is once you've imported it you'll need to click on configuration 
but make sure not to do a read, otherwise it will write over what you just imported. And go ahead and click write. Once you are online, so connected, you're going to do a write to that controller. So now you've taken this file from LCS Advanced, imported it to LCS V2, and now you've connected to a controller and written that configuration. Now, with that being said, if it is a current system, if it's a current G3 controller, uh, you don't necessarily have to import it from LCS Advanced. You could just go directly and connect to the controller and do a read in LCS V2, and that would also bring in that configuration into the correct format. The import feature is very beneficial if you do not have the controller online or if it's some past or saved configurations that you want to import into your software for future use. Thank you.